Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. This episode is gonna be another interview riddles episode. And today I will solve the difference of two numbers in a sorted array riddle. Last time I solved the riddle of finding a difference of two numbers inside an array and it wasn't sorted. Uh, but today I'm gonna solve it uh, using uh, when it is sorted. And because it is sorted, uh, I will show you, you can solve it actually uh, without using any extra space. Uh, well, you, you will use extra space, but it will be a constant number of space, meaning it will not depend on the size of the array. Let's start with a little bit of motivation. So, assuming uh, I have an array that is something like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15, 24, 40, and 100. Okay, and I want to find this is this will be our <coughs> array and the uh, delta, the distance that I want to search uh, will be 20. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, it actually exists for the numbers 4 and 24. Okay, uh, so let's just uh, look. Uh, at some motivation of how to solve it. So, assuming uh, I'm looking at some two numbers inside the array, so let's look at 2 and 40, okay? This number and this number. Now, when I uh, move the pointer to the left number one time to the right, meaning it will be 3 and 40, because it is sorted, I'm sure that the distance between the 40 and 2 is now smaller, okay? And the same goes when I move the right pointer, the 40, one step to the right from 240 to 100, the distance will always uh, become larger. So what we're gonna do, the motivation, is we're gonna start with two pointers at the beginning of the array, the first two numbers that can become the difference that we're looking for, the delta. And uh, if the distance is too small between those two numbers, smaller than delta, we're gonna enlarge the right pointer. Uh, and if the distance is too large, we're gonna move the left pointer, meaning we're gonna uh, so, how it, will it work uh, for this example? It will uh, start as 1 and 2, the distance is too small. We'll move to 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 15, and 1, 24. When it comes to 1, 24, the distance between 24 and 1 is 23. It is larger than 20. So now we'll start moving the 1 to 2, to 3 and to 4, and now when we reach the 24 and 4, now we're sure uh, we're at the correct spot of the array, and now we'll return the, uh, the result. Uh, now, why uh, will it always find an answer? Because, uh, assuming the answer exists, okay, so the right pointer always moves, uh, okay, each step, at least one of the pointers will move uh, to the right, either the left one or the right one. So, Assuming uh, we're starting with a difference that is smaller, okay, that is smaller than the uh, than our distance, we'll always move the right uh, pointer one step until we get uh, to the correct right number, the second number, uh, and if we get there. The right pointer will not move anymore at, until the left pointer will move to the correct spot. Uh, now, uh, if, for example, we're starting with uh, two pointers and they're already too large, so now we need to move the left one, we'll move the left one and the right one. Okay, two pointers uh, one time until uh, we reach the end of the array and we, we won't find any uh, any numbers. Okay, this is the, the this is the motivation. It is not a mathematical proof. I will not give you the mathematical proof of this, but giving this motivation, 
you should be able to see why it should work. So now let's look at the solution for this problem. Let's start implementing the function. We'll call it um, find difference and it will receive an array of numbers and the diff which will be a number and we'll return a tuple of two numbers uh, that will be the result. Now I will export it in order to make it a module so it will not conflict with the previous episode I did and uh, the difference of two numbers in a simple array, not sorted array. If you don't know why I did it, you can watch the modules episode of TypeScript. Uh, I put it inside the, on the top right corner of the video. Um, okay, so let's start. The first thing that we are going to check is a sanity check that the length of the array is actually big enough, meaning it has at least two numbers. If it doesn't have two numbers, it cannot contain two numbers with some uh, with difference between them. Okay, so after I did it, I did, uh, did the check uh, of the array length, uh, I can initialize uh, two pointers, the left and the right, uh, and uh, start calculating the actual difference. So I'm gonna loop until the right pointer is inside <coughs> sorry inside the array if it uh, exits the array uh, we didn't find the what we were looking for okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna calculate the actual difference and it will be the array at the right minus the array at the left and uh, we're gonna check if the actual difference is the difference that we're looking for we're gonna return the array at the left and the array at the right positions uh, meaning we found the, the solution uh, if the actual difference is not the same as the difference there are two options either the actual difference is less than the difference or the actual difference is more than the wanted difference. If the actual difference is smaller we need to make it larger meaning we need to move the right pointer once. If the actual difference is actually larger than what we are looking for we need to move the left pointer and the final check that we won't need to do is uh, if the left is more than the right, meaning not more, not only more, more or equal, meaning we went too far, we need to uh, move the right pointer once. Okay, so that's it, that the that's the entire solution. Now let's just take this down, down and we'll use Quokka on the current file and see what we got here. So let's just log the find difference for the array and the delta. Okay, and we're getting 4 and 24 as we expected before. Now let's change the delta to 21 and it is again correct 22 23 24 doesn't exist if you look at the array uh, there is no two numbers giving 24 but uh, when I'm giving 25 it found that 40 and 15 are actually uh, 25 the difference between them is 25 so this is the solution now let's go over it one more time uh, so this is the sanity check of the size of the array uh, we initialize uh, the two uh, pointers uh, we, we check if the actual difference of the two pointers of the numbers they are pointing at uh, if it is uh, actually the difference we are looking for if it is, 
uh, we need we know we are we finished and we need to return the result. Uh, otherwise, either the difference is smaller than the wanted one, so we need to move the right pointer to make the lar the right number larger, or the actual difference uh, is too small and we need to move the left one and make the difference smaller. Sorry, uh, if the difference is actually too large, then we need to move the left one and the difference will be uh, smaller. Yeah, and the problem here can become if the difference, uh, if we move the left uh, pointer so much that it actually caught up uh, and got to the same point at the right pointer. So this is this check. Uh, if the left pointer uh, got to the right pointer, meaning the right pointer should always be on the right of the left one, so we need to move the right pointer uh, once. And we iterate do it uh, until the right pointer uh, is uh, moved until the end of the, uh, the array. Now, the memory complexity, as you can see, uh, is actually a constant one because we only added uh, those two variables, this variable, and that's it, only three, var three variables to the entire solution. So the memory is, uh, complexity is constant <coughs> and the time complexity is uh, linear. Why? Because for each iteration at least one of the pointers, either left one or right one, is moving uh, and the right pointer is always on the left, sorry, on the right side of the left pointer because of this. So in the worst case scenario, we'll move the right pointer over all of the numbers of the array and then the left pointer over all of those numbers. Uh, it will probably never do it, but this is the worst case scenario. So we'll go over all of the array twice in the worst case, uh, giving it a linear time. You have watched an interview results episode about finding the difference of two numbers in a sorted array. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more interview reel videos by clicking over here or if you trust YouTube to know what you really want, you can click over here. If you want to watch more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Program Artist.